Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, it's late Wednesday night and I've uh, got the truck pulled in the shop because I got these new lights, um, these new fog lights that I want to uh, to put on on the truck. That way they're ready to go for this weekend. So figured I would uh, bring you along for the install process and kind of show you why I'm switching them out um, from the current fog lights that I have in the bumper right now. So if you're new to the channel, this is my, my F-150, my 2019 XLT F-150 that I kind of have built up for all the all the fun stuff we like to do. But um, on the front end here, I've got a Barricade HD front bumper. Um, and so that comes with a set of pod lights when you buy that Barricade bumper, or when you buy it in the combo at least, um, it'll come with them. So I don't even know what brand of lights those are. I If you go on their website and look at this bumper, it doesn't give any specs on the fog lights that are included. It just says that it comes with two fog lights and a wiring harness, and that's all the info you get. So um, the bumper itself is awesome. Like I would totally recommend the Barricade HD bumper, and I just think it has like a super cool, aggressive, like pre-runner type look, and I wanted something that was really tucked out of the way um, and kind of minimal. So that's why I went with that one. But these fog lights that have been in here just aren't great. Um, and then the biggest reason I'm ready to switch them out is because one of them, this one right here, literally took on water and dirt. Like inside the casing, I'll show you, is just packed with dirt and water. And so it doesn't even turn on anymore. Plus, even when they were both working, they just weren't bright. Like they weren't much brighter than my normal driving headlights. Um, and so I wasn't using them very much. They weren't a big help off-road or on-road. So um, figured it was time to uh, to switch to something a little better. So the new ones that I'm gonna put on um, are from Last Fit. So they sent these over and these are also a three inch pod. I decided to do a spot pattern and I'm doing amber this time. Um, and these are their high output ones. So these are the nicest ones you can get from Last Fit. Um, Tons of lumens, like super good quality from what I can tell so far. Um, and I think they'll just be miles better than what we have in there so far. But but that's the thing, we gotta test it out and find out because I don't know yet either. So um, it should be a pretty simple install. I'm thinking that my current wiring harness can stay where it's at and that these will just plug right into it. And as long as we mount up these brackets um, up inside of there, we should be good to go. But let's uh, unbox these and I'll show you um, these new pods that I'm putting in. Let's check these out. Uh, packaging is really nice for sure. So open that up there. Super nice packaging actually. So these are the brackets that will replace the old ones. These can also be used as ditch lights. I think that's primarily what they would be used for is ditch lights, kind of what I have on the truck right now. Um, so those would be brackets that could mount upright obviously and uh, be a pretty sweet ditch light. Maybe I'll have to do some of these for that at some point as well and replace my other ones. But um, these will kind of mount almost in reverse for me um, and kind of mount under the bumper and I'll kind of show you so that makes more sense. But here is, uh, here's the lights right here. They definitely look and feel really high quality. Again, I, I will test these for a long time and keep updating you on them. I'll always be honest with this stuff um, to whether or not it actually works or not. But so far, that is like miles better than what's currently in there. When I get those old ones out, um, I'll uh, show you this one compared to that one so you can kind of see the uh, physical difference. But so far, I'm really liking the, uh, the look and feel of these ones. And if I'm lucky, this plug will just go right into my current wiring harness. Um, I think it will. It should be the same connection um, from what I can understand. So that will make it way easier to not have to run any additional wiring. But yeah, let's plug them in and see what happens. All right, so uh, these are the old pods. They're just a super simple bracket. Um, then it was just a screw and a nut, pretty easy. Um, but this is what they look like. Um, this is this was the good one, so it didn't see, I don't think it has much water or moisture in it. Um, but uh, just kind of a standard Chinese looking light, um, to say the least. But yeah, they uh, just weren't super bright and weren't great, so hopefully these new ones are a good upgrade. But uh, should be a super easy install because I'll just put the new brackets on the other ones and then uh, plug them right in. So I'm just uh, putting the brackets on these real quick. 
Comes with all the hardware you need, obviously. And it even comes with an Allen wrench, which is pretty nice. So the nice thing about these brackets is uh, I'm not gonna do them too tight yet because I wanna be able to angle those lights correctly. So not sure where exactly I'm gonna want them yet. Okay, so that one's ready to go with the bracket. Um, and then the bolt goes up through there. And it's nice on the underside of the bracket, it actually has um, some welded like sections that kind of hold that uh, bolt from spinning. So you don't have to get a wrench into there to hold that hex bolt. You can kind of just do the washers and the nut right from the top. Um, so I'll go put it on. So remember at the beginning of the video when I said that it would probably be pretty easy? Well, uh, I should know better than to say that. There's, there's nothing wrong with these lights or these brackets. They're all fine. It's just that the space that I'm working with, that gap right there is pretty small and then everything is like welded. All the mounting points are welded in there for the bumper. So not a whole lot of options and these lights are just a tiny bit bigger and so they're not fitting super great. So I'm gonna have to like machine out these a little bit, drill that hole out bigger and kind of modify these brackets to make these work. All right, so I got this one closer to fitting. What I had to do on these brackets is uh, if you can see that, this hole right here is where it connects into the actual light and connects onto there. And uh, I wasn't able to get this bracket to sit low enough on this, if that makes sense, onto the light. So it's kind of coming out like this right now. And uh, I needed it to sit closer to have a little more room in that really tight space. So I had to kind of extend these holes with a drill bit and they aren't pretty at all, but I just needed a little more movement in this bracket. And then under the truck, there is like this weird welded piece that I don't really know what it's for and it's getting in the way. So I'm gonna probably have to grind it off in order for these to fit. Wow, that was way more work than I was anticipating. And now I'm only one light in, so that one's done. That one I haven't even started on. I had to totally modify those brackets. I had to grind out a, a piece of the steel bumper in there. Um, that kind of took a while, but otherwise now they fit good. Now they have room to kind of move back and forth and turn and, and then be able to secure where I want them to. But it just kind of took some work to get there. And again, it was nothing wrong with these pods. It was mostly this bumper was just made um, really tight and then had an interesting um, piece in there that I had to get rid of. So get the second one and then I'll let you know what I think. All right, so the uh, 10 minute install is complete. Uh, that second one went way faster once I kind of knew what I had to do, even with the grinding and everything and uh, the bracket modification. It's just once you know how to do something, the second one went really, really fast. It was just that first one that I was trying to figure out how to make them fit. So um, they look really well built. I'm, I'm okay that they were a little bit boxier, a little bit bigger. The extra work was worth it, I think. Um, again, we'll, we'll put these things through the ringer. Um, like I said, my previous ones um, on this one side here just totally filled up with water and mud somehow um, and totally corroded in there and stopped working. So we'll see how these ones hold up. They definitely look way better. Um, and I really like the look of the amber. So I think even with them off, those just look way cooler to me. So it's now the next morning. I took the truck out last night trying to uh, get some videos of how they were how they were looking and I didn't quite do a good enough job on modifying those brackets so I couldn't angle these new pods enough. Um, one of them was okay and then the left one was like still shooting up into the sky and not even hitting the road so I didn't want to like finish the video there and not do these lights justice because they weren't in the right position. So I uh, took some time this morning. I remodified those brackets, reinstalled them, 
um, so that I can have a little more angle. The biggest problem was that I wasn't able to get them low enough really. So I've now uh, modified them again a little bit so that they can point down a little bit. But in the daytime, it's kind of hard to tell where they'll end up shooting. So tonight, um, I'll show you these lights turned on, show you the difference from the previous ones. Um, and then I'll give you kind of my initial thought and review on these being installed now. Well, I had to wait for forever for it to get dark. Um, I'm used to the winter where it gets dark at like five o'clock and now it's like, it's nine o'clock and it just barely got all the way dark. So let's check out these pods and uh, see how bright they are compared to the old ones. All right, so they're finally in the right position it seems like, but this is the new ones. Um, I don't have my high beams on, just my regular headlights on. And then this is without um, my upper uh, ditch lights on either. Um, so this is only the headlights and the uh, new pods from Last Fit. And man, those things shoot so far. So they are very, very directional. And I just uh, haven't had any like this before. So I'll have to really run them before I decide kind of what's best. Really what's best is you kind of just have a little bit of everything, some floods, um, some spots, and then a, a mixture of amber and white. So I think I would like to keep adding a little bit more, a few more options um, on top of, of what I already have. Because as far as like off-road lights, it's just now these last fit pods in amber, which I'm really liking, and then the uh, ditch lights that I have um, that are just a white flood um, in the ditch location on the hood. So yeah, so far those are looking super bright. Um, right now I'll overlay a clip of what the old fog light was showing. And the reason I'm saying fog light is because one of them was out um, because it was broken, like I mentioned earlier in the video. But um, this is just kind of what that looked like with at least one of them on. So uh, definitely a, diff a very different type of light. They weren't very bright um, when it comes down to it, but when you're comparing these and those, it's kind of a hard comparison because they're very different lights. So this is a super directional spot in amber, and then those previous ones um, are a very flood style one um, in white. Um, but these are way brighter, these new ones are. so. Uh, again, but it's, it's a different comparison just because the lights are so different. So this is with everything turned on. That's uh, with my high beams on, the new last fit pods, and my uh, ditch lights on. And this is, this is producing a pretty good pattern. Like it's, uh, those are working pretty good. And that is like a ton of light. So um, maybe I don't need to add more, but it's always fun just to add some different stuff to maybe, uh, maybe at some point if I get enough light, I'll be able to turn my ditch lights out a little farther, like a traditional style ditch light, um, so that they, you get a little more side light. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with that, and these new pods, are uh, they're rocking it for sure. These are awesome. All right, so that's a pretty big difference. I would say I'm pretty happy with those, and I'm excited to try out a spot pattern, which is something kind of new to me. So I like how far they shoot, and I'm liking the amber, and I would like to add some more, I think. So um, again, that was just like an install plus showing them on the road. So I'll have more stuff coming where it actually shows them off road um, because that'll be a big deal. And then the whole reason to do Amber is because they do so well in bad weather. So I'll also try and get some feedback on that as well um, as we're, uh, we're going out this weekend. Plus we, we obviously camp and stuff and do this off road and stuff all the time. So I'll try and uh, get some more feedback on these and, and let you know what I think over time. But um, these, uh, if you go on their website, these are from Last Fit. I really appreciate them sending these over to me to try because I really needed them. It wasn't just because it was um, a product to try. Um, that that one had gone out and I really did need to upgrade these so it was nice that they reached out when they did. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. I, I would totally recommend them so far um, as far as the longevity goes. I'll kind of let you know as far as that goes. But the construction um, is definitely a lot better than what I've seen from some of the other cheaper options for sure. So if you're on their website, if you ever wanted to check these out, these are their three inch um, pods and these are their um, high power ones. So HP is how it's listed on their website. And then they have a sport option as well that's maybe a little more affordable with um, just some slightly less lumens and it might pull a little bit less power if that's something that uh, matters to you. So, um, but these, these high powered ones I really like and would totally recommend. Um, I, I would like to try out some of their other spots um, and some other other fogs and all the different options they have. So if you hop on there, they have tons of options for um, within the pods. They have options for fog and spot in both white and amber. And then they have um, options for SAE ones too. So they're not going to be as bright 
um, but they could kind of um, act as replacements for your, your regular driving fog lights in either amber or white. So those are pretty cool if you want to check those out as well. So I'll put a link into the description to their uh, website if you want to check them out. Um, thanks so much for watching the video this week, you guys. We'll catch you next time. Yeah.